Hey guys, it's Lizgod101 here, and we are finally back on doing the channel. The reason why I've been uh, not making videos that much lately is because 7th uh, grade for me just started, and I've been trying to make the Xbox work. Like, it's right there. But for some reason, it's saying unrecognized disc to um, all of the games. I mean, I was really looking forward to doing Skyrim again, or maybe Minecraft again. But today in this video, I'm going to be showing you my Magic the Gathering decks. Now I've got uh, tons of more cards. Like, here, let me get something real quick. Okay, I got a special card here, but uh, it's going to be best for last. So, yes, this is Magic the Gathering. And I got a neat little carrying case here. Open them up. Okay, so I even got the little bookmark things. And those came with the big box I have. It was like they it could carry up to a thousand cards, I think. And now I'm going to be showing you a... Um, I think it's a Swamp and Forest deck. 60 cards. I think it is. Let me check here. Yeah, that's forest and swamp. Okay. <coughs> now I'm going to be going step by step, or card by card, by showing you these two good decks I've made. So let's get started with the forest and the swamp deck. Let's see what we have here is a charging badger it's a creature only cost one forest pretty good and trample pretty good for uh, one forest oh I almost forgot sorry about that guys it has one health and one damage okay move on to the next card Next, we have a Hero of Leina Tower. Excuse me if I didn't say that right. And this is actually a rare card. This is this one's actually a the Badger is a common card. And this one only costs one forest, and it's a human warrior creature. And whenever you cast a spell that targets Hero of Liana Tower, you may pay X. If you do, put X plus one plus one counters on Hero of Liana Tower. And it does one damage and has one health. Let's go on to the next card. We got another Charging Badger, same thing as the first one. Ooh, we have a segmented crow take something like that and ex and excuse my uh, mom if you hear her in the background she's talking on the phone she does that all the time and it cost six forest and it's an insect creature it does Six damage and has five health. Megamorph, you may cast this card face down as a two slash two t creature for three forest. Turn it face up any time for its Megamorph cost and put a plus one plus one counter on it. It's a pretty good card. Here we got a croc and Nora. 
sort of a weird creature. It's a crocodile frog, costs three forest, and it does one damage and it has three health. And it's a reach one, which I think it can take down flying with its tongue. As you see there, it's taken down a bird. And this creature can block creatures with flying. Move on to the next one. Here we have a Satyra Wayfinder. So it's a Satyra. I'm not really good at pronouncing things today, so excuse me. And it costs two forest. And it does one damage and one health. When Satri Wayfinder enters the battlefield, reveal the top four cards of your library. You may put a land card from among them into your hand. Put the rest into your graveyard. Pretty cool, pretty cool. Here we got the Long Shot Squad. It's four... Excuse me, I had to itch my head there. Costs four forest, and it does... Three damage and three health. Outlast one forest, one forest. I'm not sure what that is. Put a plus one plus one counter on this creature. Outlast only as a sorcery. Move on to the next card. Savage Punch Sorcery. Cost two uh, two forest. Target creature you control fights. Target creature you don't control. Pretty good. Here, let me turn my phone off real quick. It's dying of low battery. Sorry about that. Then again, we have the unra we have the unravel the Arthur or author, something like that. And it costs two forest, and it says choose target artifact. Or enchantment, its owner shuffles it into his or her library. <coughs> Excuse me. Here we have Mortals Resolve. It costs two forest and it's an instant. Dark creature gets plus one plus one and gains indestructible until end of turn. I might have to do one deck per video because this is already up to like almost eight minutes and we've only gone through a couple cards. So I'm only going to do the swamp and forest deck in this um, video. And here we have the culling mark. It's a sorcery. It costs three forest. Target creature blocks this turn if able. Then here we have the Press the Advantage. It's an instant. It costs four forest. Up to two target creatures each get plus one, plus one. I mean, plus two, plus two, excuse me. And gain trample until end of turn. Here we have the another unravel the author. We have another Mortals Resolve. And we here we have a Sight of the Scale Lords. It costs four, f five forest, and it's an enchantment. At the beginning of combat on your turn, creatures you control with toughness four or greater get plus two plus two and gain vigilance until end of turn. And here we got Treed Upon or Tread Upon. Is an instant, it costs two forest. Target creature gets plus two plus two and gains trample until end of turn. Finally, we have a swamp card here. We have this is actually one of my favorites. It's a it's a full return. It costs four swamp. And it says return up to, it's a sorcery, it says return up to two target creature cards from your graveyard to your hand. Another swamp card. This one cost, um, 
Mystery Swamp. It's a sorcery. And it says destroy target untapped creature. Here we have defeat. There's it's cost two swamp and it's a sorcery and it just says destroy target creature with power two or less. Let me look at this real quick. Kind of looks like a hound archer. That guy's beaten up. <clears throat> Here we have Deba Debel Light Tatting Injury. Something like that. Cost two swamp and it's an enchantment aura. Enchant creature, enchanting creature gets minus two, minus two. Here we have, I'm not even sure how to say that, it says A-S-P-H-Y-X-I-A-T-E, I'm not even sure how to pronounce that, it costs 3 swamp, it's a sorcery and it says destroy target untapped creature. Here we have Grizzly Transformation. It's an enchantment aurora. Three swamp it cost. It's a enchant it says enchant creature. When grisly transformation enters the battlefield, draw a card. Here we have Eye Gorge. It costs one swamp. It says target cre it's an instant. It says target creature gets minus one, minus one until end of turn. If it's a psycho if it's a Cyclops, destroy it. <coughs> okay. Excuse me. Here we have Weight of the Underworld. It's an enchantment aurora. It costs four swamp. It says enchant creature. Enchant creature gets minus three, minus two, and t never mind. Minus three, minus two. Here we have another way of the underworld. And we have Bile Blight. It's an instant, it costs two swamp. It says target creature and all other creatures with the same name as that creature get minus three, minus three until end of turn. We have a swamp. Swamp, 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 forest, 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 swamp. We got uh, both, I guess. Okay, finally. <coughs> Here we have Ruthless Ripper. Costs one swamp. It's a human assassin. It has death touch. And it, ha and it does one damage and one has one health. Here we have Servant of Timarit. It's a zombie. It has, it costs three swamp and it has three health and it does one damage. Here we have Quarcy Sadist. Hopefully I said that right. Costs two swamp. It's a human cleric. It says exploit it. When this creature enters the battlefield, you may sacrifice a creature. It has... It does one damage, and it has three health. Here we have Fate Unraveler. It... It, it costs four... It costs four swamp. It's an enchantment creature. It's a hag. It has four health and it does three damage. It's actually a rare card too. 
Here we have Nick's born Ed Allen. It costs two swamp. It's an enchantment creature. It's a spirit. It says best owl. If you cast cast this card for its best owl cost, it's an Aurora spell with enchant creature. It becomes a creature again if it's not attached to a creature. Enchanted creature gets plus two plus one. And this has plus it does two damage and it has one health. Here we have another servant of Timarit. We have a Felhide Brawler. It costs two Swamp. It's a Minotaur. Minotaurs are actually my favorite thing from Narnia. Just saying. Felhide Brawler can't block unless you control another Minotaur. And it does two damage and it has two health. Here we have another Quarsi Qua Sadist. We have Disown Ancestor. It costs one swamp and it's a spirit warrior. Put a plus one plus one counter on this creature. Outlast only as a sorcery. And it does zero damage and it only has four health. So I guess it's only a blocking creature. Here we have Unyielding Kumar. It costs four swamp. It's an orc warrior. It says unyielding Kumar gains first strike until end of turn. And it does three damage and it has three health. <coughs> Excuse me again. We have stampeding elk herd. It costs five forest and, and it's elk it says whenever stampede elk herd attacks if creatures you control have total power eight or greater creatures you control gain trample until end of turn and it does five damage and it has five health here we have our tower of resolute it it costs two forest it's a, another rare card it's an avatar, and it says, Reach Trample. Avatar of the Resolute enters the battlefield with a plus one plus one counter on it for each other creature you control with a plus one plus one counter on it. It does three damage, and it has two health. Okay, finally, last card. Let's see what it is. And it's my favorite one from the force. Death Mr. Raptor. And I think it's a super rare, I think, or is, wait, 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 wait a sec, is this a mythic rare? It's red. This, I've never noticed that, I think, I think we have another mythic rare, this is my second mythic rare, I think. Because it has the red on it, right there. So in the comments, is it okay if anyone can tell me if this is a mythic rare? Because it has the shield, but it's red. Is it just a rare, or is it a mythic rare? Or is it super rare? I've actually never noticed that. It costs three, um... Three forest, it's a lizard beast, it has death touch. Whenever a per permanent you control is turned face up, you may return death Mr. Raptor from your graveyard to the battlefield face up or face down. And it does three damage and it has three health. Okay. <coughs> Finally, for this special card I have. Okay. Cover this. Dun 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 It's Jace, Artificial of Thought. It's a mythic rare, it's a planeswalker Jace. It says, I think it was like, 
1 out of 80 or something. Yeah, I think. So it costs 4... I forget what it's called. Island, I think. 4 Island. And it's it has 3 things you can do. Plus 1 is until your next turn, whenever a creature and opponent controls attacks, it gets... Minus one, minus zero until end of turn. Minus two is reveal the top three cards of your library. An opponent separates those cards into two piles. Put one pile into your hand and the other pile on the bottom of your library in any order. And minus eight says for each player search the... That player's library for a non-land card and exile it. Then that player shuffles his or her, or her library. You may cast those cards without paying their mana, mana cost. So that's the special card I have. I'm not sure if this is a myth grower or not. I'm hoping it is. If it is, then I would have in one of these cases, or folds here, so I can stay in good condition. So I think that does it for this video, and I'll see y'all in the next video. Bye-bye!